Well, hello everyone. Here I am with another Lego Harry Potter 2024 review, and this one's on the Forbidden Forest Magical Creatures set that is now being released. So on the front of the box here, we have the Lego Harry Potter logo, and same board that we've been seeing since 2021, Disney World logo, of course, and picture of everything in action going on within the Forbidden Forest, of course, and the two mini pigs included, and Recommended ages 8 and up, set number 76432, and has 172 pieces. On the back side of which have another picture of everything together, and how it can connect and swap around, and also says glow in the dark, of course. And that's about it there. And on to the booklet, which different rendering than the front of the box and same logo and everything. Then transition from plastic bags to paper bags and add for the builder app. On the back, how to win on the online survey. And the pieces that come with the set, of course, and add for rebuild the world. And then advertisement of the two uh, Hogwarts or new Hogwarts expansion set of the uh, Boathouse which I previously reviewed and the Owlery which I am going to review quite soon so look out look forward to that and then the last building steps of it and now on to the uh, two and a half mini things that are included in here. Okay. Okay. First off, we would have so the two figs are just uh, Ron and Ron Weasley and Hermione Granger, of which, and of course, does have the open robes and all, and both of which also having. The Gryffindor symbol on their printings, obviously, and which kind of fitting to this scene in Source in Chamber Secrets when when they were wearing this in the Forbidden Forest, of course, and and of course how are the hair piece torso and face printings quite the same as they've been for since like 2018, of course, and both of which wielding the wand pieces. But as for Hermione, which has both the triple molded uh, legs and short skirt, also seen in the boathouse set, and also do have the Cornish Pixie, which same as we've seen since the uh, other Chamber Secrets set in 2021, which, so if you weren't, didn't want to bother with that set, good way, to, good cheap way to get that. Same with one of the uh, Hogwarts Banner sets as well. Then also to note that the lantern piece also and the cylinder part of which can glow in the dark as well. Yeah, you can kind of see that there. And then on the back sides of each one, you can see their back face printing and also back torso printing. Well, the back face printing, kind of the same as they've been for or a little while for, since then, but also well fitting to some of these, this scene in Chamber of Secrets as well. So yeah. And that is about it with these figs of which, and then also to get in this set is a, a baby theft girl, which we've kind of seen in the, in the small carriage set back in uh, mid-2022, uh, well, nothing to say, but, or not much to say on that, but this is which good way to get that if you missed out on that set or didn't want to bother with that set, but yeah, or at least nice to get to extras of that as well, so yeah, and that was it there, and then next to which is uh, Buckbeak the Hippogriff, and you pitch as you see still in the white coloring with the silver wings of which like we saw in the 
a series black escape set from 2022, of course. So, and of course, this was a good cheap way to get him, but yeah. And however, everything else kind of the same, like same motion and everything, but yeah. And that's about it there. And so now, on to the uh, Forbidden Forest for kind of build itself. Which, as you can see, okay, kind of simple for how it is, but at least do have some good parts bits, or good colors of parts to that. Like all these black, dark blue, and odd, and brightish blue bits to it. And of course, the glow in the dark bits. It's like and once again, as you can see, we've got these mushroom bits and of course the spider piece all in glow in the dark. Oh, it's nice to see there and good to use for mocking, obviously. Also, interesting thing with this set, of which it can kind of detach in five little sections so and we can look at one at a time like this one which which is just a pair of there's a pair of dark blue jagged slopes and also if I can get this plate off of it. Oh wait, I just thought something wrong then, but whatever. And all of which are standing on the uh, black uh, rounded plates for that. And then back side of which is just a another light blue cone bit kind of piece on there. But whereas the rest of it, nothing else to say, but yeah. And then this one of which, same story, but just with one single mushroom to there. And then now to spice things up a little is that's on this one corner plate that is in bright blue and also dig it a bunch of the uh, trans blue flat studs bud that have a glittery kind of effect to it. Was like to represent the footsteps of the Patronus stag, for that of which nice to see there, and also great to use for mocking and also you get to like three jumper plate, all in dark blue and the by one brick, one by two bricks in dark blue and and that as well. But yeah, also quite simple again. But yeah. And then now onto one of the trees for that, like as you can see, the, a newish spider piece in glow in the dark, as I already showed, and also the a newer spider web piece, but in dram in bright blue, oh, which nice to see there, and also and again good for mocking, and can swivel up and down like so, and also these trees of which kind of standing on. The two by four bricks that have the uh, plus holes in them, uh, which I kind of need to see there for them. And then, as for on the other side of this tree build, uh, which is just a drumstick, uh, chicken like, turkey like piece, most like to leave out for Aragog and the spiders, of course. Or, or even for Grop, of course. Then as for the tree building, which just a few solder pieces and the future and a bunch of tail pieces and technic bits to it and also do have the leaf pieces in dark blue like we've seen on the Stranger Things set and also little leaf pieces in dark green and in purple and also one little bat piece on there. But all of this tree builder which kind of feels like something out of the Lego elves line of which where it was in with dark leaf pieces but although if you missed out on that 
uh, elves theme this which can kind of work out as well but yeah and also a little more of those those uh, uh, flat studs that are glittery of course but yeah. so that's about it for this section and now on to this other section last section which is a quite similar tree build for that but without the bat on it and but also and also like the other has a little dark or dark brown cone piece on there and also well kind of the same arrangements but whatever which and well downwards have a black jumper on there most likely to stand your Cornish pixie mini fig or micro fig on too obviously and then the purple leaf pieces just down there randomly and and some more uh, dark blue jagged slopes on there of course and corner bricks as well and then back side of which is just a little open space with a, a jumper plate in there so it's most likely to uh, stand a fig or whatever in, or just stand the Cornish pixie into or something So now, and to show once again, is have one open clip part and also hinge part on there. And, oh, which is so you can like clip on to like so. And of course, arrange however you want in any kind of order you want. Also, as back of the box did show, is have them all together in a circle for that. But also that there is this one poly bag with, or this one poly bag set, which which is like an extra expansion to that. Which if you get that, which and that poly bag also includes a fig of Draco Malfoy to that. Which if you get that, then you can like extend this even more as well. So good bit of customization to there. And then and you wonder why exactly it's just plates on these two of which most likely just to on the covers, say. Just to stand the Thestral and Buckbeak on two. It was quite simple and also a good bit effective. And also why jumpers on here is to stand figs, stand the figs as well, but yeah. And it's now on to the final verdict. But overall, I think this is which a quite good set for how it is, like a good cheap way to get Buckbeak and also the Cornish Pixie and and then as and as I've been saying throughout the review is this which a good parts pack and of course the trees reminiscent of Lego elves. And then also do get quite a few glow in the dark pieces like the dishes for the mushrooms, the spider, and cylinder in Ron's lantern, of course. But also plenty of dark blue and black studs with the glitter effect to them and yet still a good parts pack for that and of course a little bit more forbidden forced as I to add on adding like obviously but of course there will be the new Aragog set later in the year which uh, can kind of add on to that and also to the previous ones like Grops Encounter and such but yeah And oh, and else not much, but and also this was a good cheap way to get Buckbeak if you missed out on the Sirius Black's escape set from two years earlier. But yeah, and whereas for the three dollars that it is, uh, which kind of be kind of.
kind of steep for that, but although 25 could have worked out as well, 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 but of course this is probably how $3 sets are nowadays. Well, in this case, most likely because of the Death Stroll and Buckbeak, but yeah. And also all the glow in the dark pieces again, but yeah. And now, if you are looking to get this set for your uh, Forbidden Forest uh, mock or display, then definitely pick this up. And if you are looking to get this for your uh, Harry Potter set collection, then also definitely pick this up. And that's about it with this video. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thank you for watching.